Hey guys, it's Sable here. Welcome to another BYC trending update. I thought today I'd switch it up and do it in uh, in the car. So here we go. We're gonna do a little trending update in kind of a closet, <laughs> so to speak. Um, yeah, I did not uh, like how my tripod was acting, so I figured let's do this in a car. It's bright out. It's sunny. So here we go. So I just want to talk to you guys. Oscar nominations came out today, and I'm sure you guys saw the Golden Globes. I did not. My DVR is the devil and only recorded the first 30 minutes, but I did, however, see the red carpet, and I hope you guys did too. It was um, pretty underwhelming. Uh, there was a lot of playing at safe looks, and uh, I don't know what was going on. There was like some periwinkle. Uh, anyway, it was weird. Um, but there were some pretty cool, you know, nice accent um, beaded gowns, which I really liked, and I hope to see that at the Oscars. Um, maybe not full on beaded, but I do like, like Kate Beckinsale wore a nice gown. I think it was like silk at the bottom and she had a beaded top and I thought that was really, really cool on her. So I hope to see more of that. I want to see some more color, some pops of color, kind of, you know, lemon cello as they were talking about on the red carpet it was pretty big. Um, probably want to avoid that since we've seen it already. Uh, I was thinking more. You know, even like a pale pink like Gwyneth Paltrow wore when she won for Shakespeare in Love. That was so cute. Um, I would like to see more of that, kind of like a, I didn't see that coming look. That'd be nice. I like to, I like to be kind of shocked <laughs> in a good way, not in a bad way. I like to just see some challenging looks. You know, obviously people take risks and I like that. Um, I like when people are like, you know, this may work, it may not work, but let's try it on, let's give it a chance. Uh, Rihanna does that all the time. So I think... Dear Oscar people, please find your Rihanna cojones and uh, try on something you wouldn't normally try on and, and see how you feel in it. That's that's what I'm hoping for. <laughs> so a little more for me about red carpet looks. I'm a big lover of red carpet looks and gowns and I just, I love yards and yards of material. I mean, sometimes it's not something that's doable when you're walking around and you're taking pictures and people are trying to carry your train, but hey, it's the Oscars. <laughs> it's the one time other than the Met Gala or the Met Ball uh, where you can actually go with like a nice train and yards of lace and really bring it. And I'm hoping to see that. So I will be watching and hoping and praying that I have a lot of gasps and oohs and ahs. Um, one of my favorites is Marquesa. I'm hoping to see some Marquesa on the on the red carpet. Uh, men, God, please go with Tom Ford or Armani. Those are my top two. Uh, if you want to go all classic and go Ralph Lauren, I wouldn't I wouldn't uh, hold it against you. I love it. So those are what I'm looking for. I will be watching. I hope you guys will too. It's not until I think February, so it'll be a while. <laughs> but I just wanted to uh, talk about it with you. And then oh, and one more thing. Oh my God. Let's just talk about my love, Amy Adams. Love her, but I swear to God, please do not wear another boring periwinkle gown on the carpet. Let's go with something cute. You're adorable. You can do it. I want to see something adorable on you that just brings out the life that's inside of you. So that is my note to her and to you guys. Always keep your closet open to trendy, affordable fashion. With us, bring your closet and me, Sable Stevens, and I will talk to you guys soon.